Hi, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Wonder Snatch. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. For the last two months, I've been uploading kind of like alternating in threes, my LGBT content, dermatology content, and then a Drew Girl. I think I'm going to start switching it up in October. So there are going to be some spooky looks coming your way. Spooky looks? Spooky looks coming your way. Today I'm going to do something that I always wanted to do and that's make my own makeup. All right, I'm going to try to make my own eyeshadow for the very first time and then put it on my face. Okay, so... Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and ring that bell for post notifications, and let's get started. I've ordered a whole bunch of stuff from TKB Tradings. Let's just head off to the kitchen to make the makeup and be back here to put it on my face. Okay, I've got um, everything set up here, okay, lights and everything, and I've got my other phone filming my workspace. So I've got everything clean, okay, with a nice piece of paper towel, and everything here I've got from TKB Trading. So it's a whole bunch of pigments, okay, and a whole bunch of bases as well. So we're probably going to try to make a few different eyeshadows today, the basic eyeshadows, or basic drag. I guess we're going to put on a mask, okay, because we don't want to be breathing in the talc. Alright. And I have gloves. Uh, because this is going to go in your eyes, you want everything to be sterile. So I've got here some 95% alcohol for cleaning everything and for mixing the pigments. Mainly this is the, my mix medium, which is a mixture of silicones and some preservatives. Measuring spoons, a scale, and all the pigments. Okay, so let's just start with a simple one. We're going to do a nice white pigment. Okay, and there's some recipes from the TKB website which I'll be following. Okay, so today we're using these 3.6 cm 36 millimeter pans and according to the internet this holds about three to four grams of product okay so we'll be measuring out about three to four grams of product of each matte texture base to titanium dioxide two to one so titanium dioxide is the same stuff you get in sunscreen it actually blocks visible light so when it's in sunscreen it actually reflects UVs and the visible light and that's, why, and that's why sometimes when people wear too much of this, they look like they're wearing kabuki makeup. Just what Mark Zuckerberg got caught surfing probably a lot of titanium dioxide. Okay, so matte texture base. Two parts this to one part that. If I want four grams, let's say three grams, it'd be two grams of this and one gram of that. And then on one of our pans, let's just spray some alcohol. And we'll put two drops of the magnet medium. And one drop of the little bit. So this alcohol is 95% alcohol. Unfortunately, most of the rubbing alcohols we get in the drug stores, they are 70%, which is not good enough. So if you're buying alcohol, rubbing alcohol from the drugstore, just be very careful that you don't buy something that contains methanol. I had a friend from England because I couldn't find a 90% alcohol in Singapore. And that one actually contains some methanol and methanol is not good for you, especially if you're going to putting it on your face. Okay, so that's gonna give you nerve damage and stuff like that. So don't use anything with methanol. The tri trial and error to find the right consistency. YouTube videos that I've seen, um, kind of get this really thick, creamy paste. Okay, right. seated. So you know, bending over this, got some 90% alcohol here from another sauce. It's been here for a while. Alcohol. This reminds me of the time I spent in the lab. I've actually spent quite a lot of time in the laboratory. So I love all this precise stuff. Measuring stuff, mixing stuff. Just like making short, short break. So as I said, 
before in my previous videos. The most important colors in drag queens arsenal are black and white. So we're going to try and do those today. We're going to do a couple of neutral colors. As soon as this wet sand. The instructions on the other side says press it soft first. And that's the first eyeshadow I've ever done. Shimmering white, what should we call it? Maybe let's put that aside. If I ever have my own eyeshadow palette, I'll call it white. Spun. Ah. <laughs> Alright, next color. Okay, let's do it yellow. Yellow is really good to blend out things like browns and purples, pinks. So a nice yellow is really hard to get also. Okay, so I've got this pearl yellow. It's already got some mica, titanium dioxide, and yellow lake. So this already has the binders in it. So I think this one, all we need to do is press this. Maybe we'll add a little bit of yellow oxide to give it a bit more. Some shimmer. Let's pop in some of this yellow oxide, which is a kind of mustardy yellow pigment. Put in about one gram. Shimmering. And the, iron, and the yellow oxide is giving it a little bit more of a bronze look to so the itself. Because of the vibrancy of colors that people gravitate to on Instagram and on social media. Makeup has evolved also, so I mean a lot of the influencer brands now are really pigmented. Some of them aren't even called eyeshadows. They're called pressed pigments. Because in America, pressed pigments are not meant to be used around our eyes because some of the colors are not, have not been proven to be eye safe. So that's quite confusing for a lot of people. And about everything here, eye safe. I shall name you. What it looks like? T. Looks like T. Harry. That's the kind of milk tea that we get in Singapore. Okay, so now I'm going to try to do this brown one. I've mixed some um, matte base. This time I've added some clear in. Okay, so that makes it a little bit more matte, I guess. Um, and I added some brown mica, yellow mica, and I used some of the yellow mica that we brought before. And I added some red mica. Let's try to get the deep brown. Something that could um, deepen up any neutral look. That looks a bit like cocoa powder. Mm -hmm. I think it might darken the mouse once it hits the pan. I shall name you. Please call it dinosaur. Or Milo dinosaur. That's a drink in Singapore as well. Made with Milo and chocolate. Hot chocolate. Alright, I'm just gonna clean this up and I'll be right back. So we're gonna try the purple now. Okay, purple shadows are notoriously hard to formulate apparently, so let's see whether I can get it right on the first try. <laughs> the red, the old powers, everything. That's not purple at all. So in this case, 
carry me red and blue to not give me purple. It's a maroon brown. <laughs> so that doesn't look very purple at all. It's almost the color of an acai berry. This is what it's going to be called. This will be called acai. Alright, so you get the idea. This one's going to be called acai. I'm going to make a couple more and then we're going to put this on my face. Alright, I'll see you back in the beauty studio in a bit. So I'm back. It's a few days later and I've let the shadows kind of like dry out and let the alcohol all evaporate out though. I'll show you later. I'm just mixing my Uma Beauty again and my Juvia Space. One is a little bit too dark, one is a bit too light so they kind of like make the perfect shade. This is the Bronze Venus plus the um, Maricel from Juvia's Place. See? It's a pretty perfect. This first attempt at making my own eyeshadow not super successful, they don't look very pretty. I didn't press them with any special patterns or anything, so they kind of look pretty busted. But I did a few more after I stopped filming, and some of the colours I kind of like, I mean a lot of blues, pinks and purples, and a few neutrals. I hope this kind of works, and of course a black and a white, which are extremely essential for drag. Some of them I didn't even press very much, I mean I just like tapped it a little bit and let the shadow settle. KVD to... And quite extra that I'm doing a full face just to test eyeshadows. I think that's the story of my life. I've always been extremely extra. Everything I do, I have to do it like, you know, all the way. I can't just do something halfway. Which is why I guess I ended up with this channel. This is my darker bronze Venus again. Extra. I've always loved like science and mixing stuff and cooking, so I guess making my own eyeshadows would be the next logical step. Making the eyeshadows was a little bit messy, and getting the formula right is, I think, quite difficult. That's why I guess companies, you know, really keep the formulas really close to the heart. Kimchi puff puff puffs. Don't breathe in. Whew, a lot of powder. Here we go. Let's put those face tapes on. Okay, face tapes are on, ready to unveil my first palette. What should I call it? Wonder Snatch Volume 1. What do you leave down in the comments below? What, what do you think I should call my first palette? For the winner, I guess I'll, I'll send you some merch. I've got this t-shirt, this tank top here, my Wonder Snatch tank top. I can send you one of those if, if you come up with a name. Okay, so Okay, so one of them actually crumbled a little bit, so I had to repress it. So I've got a black and a white there, okay, and a pub, a pink, a nice bright pink, a violet, a couple of browns, they're really really gross looking. I mean it's not pressed very nicely. A couple of blues, one periwinkle and one brighter blue. These two have a bit of shimmer in it and one one this was supposed to be yellow, but not a great yellow. Okay, so let's see how these work on my eyes. I, I guess I'll swatch them too. Okay, so um, clean arm. No primer or anything. I'm gonna swatch the first three, which is the white, the shimmer, Ooh, this is not bad, and this yellow. Okay, so the white, hmm, Chibuko Taco is usually definitely better. This yellow shimmer, that's not bad, and this kind of a poker a bit more talky. Right? Swatches don't mean anything. <laughs> okay, clean hands. Now the next three. The pink and the two browns. 
Okay, so the pink shimmer. That's not bad. This is quite nice and light. I call this one dinosaur. Oh, that's not bad. That's pretty good. And this deeper brown. I was gonna make a deeper brown for blending out. Haven't named this one yet. This one's not that great, but that's not bad. And let's go into the other arm. Okay, the periwinkle. I haven't got a name for this yet. A bit chalky, but not bad. The blue ACS. Not so good, but it looks pretty good on the finger. And this other neutral kind of shimmer, this peach shimmer. It's not bad either. Okay. Haven't come up with all the names yet. You can leave leave comments and names also down below. Violet shade. Oh, that's, that's really a little bit brown, but not very pigmented in the black. That is not bad. Okay, so let's wash all this off. Nothing like the swatches you see on the other eyeshadow palettes, but let's see, let's see how this turns out in your eyes. Okay, I want to give, give these shadows the best possible chance, so I'm going to use my MAC Paint Pot as a primer. Actually, let's try two different primers. I'm going to try Paint Pot on this eye and the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas on the other eye. This one is a 180, swears by my favourite dense packing brush. I'm going to go in first with the deep brown. There is some pigment. Hmm, not bad. Lens. Nicely. Okay. Let's, let's try to use as many of these colors as I can. So on this eye, I guess I'll do a kind of a brown smoky eye. On the other side, I'll do a blue. It's not as pigmented as some of the eyeshadows I already have, but it's a good start. Nose Def de definitely more eyeshadows than pressed pigments. You know, pressed pigments that pay off is much, much greater. But I'm not mad at that. Okay, let's see how this black works. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, okay, this black's not bad. Let's see how they blend. Let's make this a smoky eye. Chocolate? What should I call the black? Oh, yeah, I was gonna call the black. Oh, hui. Oh, hui. Oh, hui. Black flower. It's black flower in. Hockey and also a tribute to one of my good friends whose nickname was Ahoy. Oh, <laughs> let's try this black, it's pretty good. Okay, let's try to use as many colors as I can. Let's use a lighter brush. I'm gonna try using this yellow and blend out the brown. What should I call this yellow? Pop some of this yellow shimmer. I was gonna call this one Tayteric, but it doesn't really look like Tayteric anymore. Let's pop that in there. Hmm. But let's try the other eye. The other eye, I wanna try the blues. Let's go with this ACS one. Oh, it's starting to cry. This one we call ACS. Pack that one. Let's try That's not bad. <laughs> okay. Um, Cut crease or halo eye? Halo eye, please. I'm, I'm literally trying this on for the first time with you guys, so this is quite exciting for me. But this is ACS. ACS is my alma mater, secondary school here in Singapore. I think I'll blend out the edges with uh, this violet, violet shade. Let's see how that goes. Let's use that same um, yellow shimmer that I popped in the inner corner there. Blend them in together with some of the... Uh, probably need more colors in this. But that's looking not bad. Going in to the outer and inner corner with that deep purple. 
Okay, this is my B one. Run that purple. This ad is giving me like Lucha Libre vibes. I'm gonna blend that up with that lighter blue. I'm gonna fill in the brows also, a bit of the brown. So really uneven today. It's Trixie Mattel says symmetry is not something we do on this channel. Okay, I'm just gonna finish this off quickly and I'll be right back. Sketch out the brows with my brown and my black and now and use a clown white to cut that and now I'm gonna use the white to see whether I can set that. To me using my clown white for the inner corner of the eyes. Using the black Okay, and it's a bit of a liner this side. I'm gonna try to see whether I can contour with the lighter brown. Ooh, wow. Okay. If it's bronzer and contour together. It's a little bit patchy. Oh, it's quite pigmented. It's too too much. Yeah, I think the formula for contour and bronzing is a lot different from eyeshadow. I'm try to use the white to highlight the center of the face. I need to really dig in for the white and press it a little too hard. But it kind of works, doesn't it? I'm gonna contour the nose with the same, the, the brown, the, not the contour brown, but the brown I use for the eye, which is actually quite good, blends quite nicely. I'm gonna rate that into the eye. Okay, and now I want to use the pink. A little bit of shimmer in there, but I'm gonna use that as a blush, okay? So, let's see, it's to crumble already, so not. This is, the blues are already all cracked. I'm gonna use that pink there for the blush. Very, very. There's something there. Okay, so the pink shimmer and this neutral shimmer. Let's give me some color. All right. I'm gonna throw on a lip and some liner and lashes off camera and I'll be back with a wrap up. All right, back with a very simple wig and a jumpsuit, no jewelry, but I did put on nails so I can pose my eye makeup. Not bad, so for first try, I'm quite happy with these shades. So Wonder Snatch Volume 1, or whatever it's gonna be called, is already a bit banged up. Um, <laughs> that one, that, that blue shade is all cracked. And there's a little bit of fallout on the black, but the black was actually performed surprisingly well. It's coming closer for a good look. So, this brown actually blended out quite nicely. The black is quite pigmented, not bad. This blue is also not bad, okay? This blue, um, the ACS, blended quite nicely. And this yellow shimmer is also pretty nice. This is like flounder colors there. So, I hope you enjoyed that video of me making my own makeup. And hopefully in the future I can make real makeup for everyone. <laughs> that that really is something that I would really like to do. I think it goes to show how easy it is to make makeup. You can just make it at home, but you know, the markups on makeup is really crazy. So I mean, if you're paying $126 for a Natasha Denona palette, the formula of drugstore makeup sometimes is pretty comparable. Okay, so if you like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and ring that bell for post notifications. Okay, um, I've got some spooky makeups coming up for Halloween, and I'll see you next time. Bye!
volume one. Watch my other videos. That's the end of the one that said it's volume one. All over the place.